Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new, thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to be showing you a summery makeup look. As you can see here, this is the final product. So stay tuned to see how I created it. And throughout this tutorial, I'm going to be putting in some little products that might be really useful for the summer, which are SPF infused. So that's from lip balms to makeup setting sprays. And don't forget, in the summertime, you got to get your sun cream on because you don't want to burn. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you lots of products from Kula throughout this video. It's not sponsored, I just think they're great and I've been using them all summer when it's been hot. So yeah, keep watching and you'll see what I'm talking about. This look is going to be very shimmery, very glowy, very highlighted, very very just subtle and pretty and summery. And if you get to the end, make sure you leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below because that really helps me out and it lets me know that you are enjoying these videos. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm currently completely bare face. I'm gonna go through a little bit of my skin routine before heading into my summertime makeup. So first of all, what I would usually do is take a cream or a gel. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few of the things I've been using. I'm also gonna link up here um, a video that I filmed in Italy of my morning routine while on holiday, but there's not really much difference between my morning routine at home. Um, so yeah, this is me completely bare faced. Um, I'm, I'm like, touch wood, I'm having a really good, um, touching wood, um, I'm having a really good skin time at the moment. Um, my routine seems to be working for me. So if you did want to know what I do for my, my, skin routine then make sure you check out this video so i would usually start off the day with a cream of some sort and that would be something like this from kiehl's which is the facial fuel which i think it says it's a treatment for men but disregard that anyone can use it and i really love this for the morning it's got a kind of like peppery and a minty feel a kind of eucal what is it it's a eucalyptus or something there's something quite energizing about it um, which kind of helps to wake your face up or wake yourself up um, and then i'll also reach for my clarins double serum which i received as a gift i also received the kills one as a gift as well um about a year ago i'm still using it um, and this one i also received um and i this is my favorite like one of my favorite skin products to use before makeup but as you can see it's starting to run low so i'm savoring it for like special occasions but it's smells amazing and feels amazing on the skin so that's like one of my favorites and then um after doing a cream so today i'm going to do this kills cream which i've been doing for the past two weeks or so um i'll go on top with a gel which i'll focus around my eye area and any dry areas which is usually around my lips and around my nose so i'm going to do that for you now and i'll see you afterwards Now I've just applied the gel as you saw and my face is kind of starting to go a little bit tacky which is great for applying makeup, it's a really good thing. So this is the SBC gels and I've got a couple of their gels, there's a pink one and there's also this one which is the Propolis, I think it's like a honey kind of infused um, serum and I really love this for before makeup my face is like a little bit tacky which is perfect for foundation but if you do feel that you need a little bit more longevity in your makeup for the day so for example you're getting ready really early in the morning and you know your makeup needs to last you right into the evening then I would go in with a primer and I love spray primers so this is the MAC prep and prime um, it's a classic primer um, and it also sets your makeup at the end but I won't be setting my makeup with this I'll be setting it with something else um, yeah so this is the MAC prep and prime um, which I will definitely use if it's a day where I know my makeup needs to last and I think today is one of those days I'm supposed to be going out this evening and it is currently the morning so I might just do this and um, hope for the best <laughs> oh I love the smell of this, it's so good. So yes, yeah, so now my face is pretty much primed. I'm going to go and just uh, moisturize my lips. I love to moisturize my lips at the beginning of my makeup routine so that by the lip stage, which is my final stage, it's nice and ready for the product. As this is a summer makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be throwing in some um, SPF products as we go along, just because I think it's really important to protect your skin. A lot of people, they'll go in with the sun cream on their bodies, but they'll completely forget about their face and your face, skin is so delicate and you need to take care of it so first of all we've got this spf lip balm by cooler and i went to their launch event this springtime and it was a launch for their summer collections and picked up a few products so i'm going to be showing you those which you can see i've already been using it's kind of 
worn down already but I've loved these um, and then there's also this color um, which is summer crush minty rose more of a neutral pink nudie pink and I might throw that on as well just to show you I think this is the color that's closest to my lip color so if I really want to be natural if I want to do oh, natural um, and these came along with me when I did my LA trip um, oh god here's another shameless plug <laughs> if you didn't know I recently went to LA and New York and San Francisco and Las Vegas and I vlogged the entire trip so if you do enjoy vlogs then make sure you click this link up here it will take you to either a single video or a playlist I have to figure that out when I get to the tech part of this video um, but yeah I really had a lot of fun there and those some of the products that I'm showing you today were my like go-to products whilst I was out there for skincare obviously it's so sunny out there so yes base is done enough talking from me let's get into the foundation routine I've got a basket of goodies <laughs> so summery actually gonna be going in with my regular the one that appears in all of my makeup tutorials my trusty go-to Illamasqua skin base so I apply the foundation to my hand do about three stripes for full coverage two stripes if I'm feeling a bit a bit less of a makeup look take my finger and just apply I'm using my viewfinder for this this could be a big mistake <laughs> I'll just kind of spread that out in in blobs and dots and whatnots <laughs> I'm Dr. Seuss hey um, imagine Dr. Seuss just did a makeup tutorial <gasps> That'd be so good. Imagine a beauty guru rhymed their whole makeup tutorial like for Dr. Seuss's like 100th anniversary or something. That'd be so, girl, I'm not giving you my ideas. Copyrighted Ebony and Ivory, please. <laughs> I'll do that. All right, I'll get my writer friends to help me. That'd be so fun. And I'm going in with this beauty blender. It might be a different one from my last tutorial because my last one got so gross. So I bought a new one, but it's very similar, same color. Um, and this was from Superdrug. I believe it's by the brand B which might be a super drug brand. As you can see, my foundation has been blended to the gods. When I was in America, my LA vlogs, as I mentioned before, um, I went into Sephora, obviously, and I picked up a few things, one of them being this concealer, and I've had to pick up two, because I started using it whilst I was out there, and I was like, girl, girl, we don't have no Sephoras out here in the UK, it's, it's a hard life, so I picked up two. I wish I picked up three, in all honesty, because this one is already done. I've been really trying to get the last out of it, but, you know when you're, like, you're just scraping the barrel there. So as you can see, my under eyes are super bright and illuminated and concealed and it's looking good. So I'm gonna keep moving on to set my base. I use this collection Sheer Loose Powder and I think it's the shade two. What I've been doing recently, so for the past month to two months, I've been setting my under eyes. I wouldn't say I was baking them because I brush it away quite soon after, but I do like to set my under eyes just to make sure my concealer doesn't wrinkle. I think that's a problem I've had in the past where throughout the day you start noticing the lines where your wrinkles are um, kind of breaking because of the makeup. So I try to set that really well and it's been working actually so far. So thought I'd let you in on my little secret. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush, which is this one. I think it's from the Powder Blue collection. And I got these from um, working with Influencer, which is a, an app where you can leave reviews on lots of different types of products. And then they choose some of their members to send products to review, which is really nice. So that was a campaign I did with them. And I'm gonna go with the same powder and just apply it really lightly for the rest of my face and then brush out the under eye powder that I've already applied. Yeah. <laughs> And there we have my finished base. So I'm now gonna go in with my bronzer and highlight to contour. Um, and I will usually start off with the bronzer. It is the MUA Makeup Academy bronzer. 
and it is called Sunkissed Bronze. You can get it from Superdrug, you know. This is a new addition and I'll take a soft, I don't know, this can be quite controversial because a lot of people like to have precision when it comes to their bronzer, but I have this really soft brush. Yeah, I've been using this recently. I found that it's worked for me. I have in the past used a really precise brush, but I feel like it gives a really harsh line that I then have to blend out. Um, but whereas this one, you can kind of start softly and build it up and it's more of a general uh, bronze rather than a contour bronze, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this bronzer here, tap off the excess and use my mirror again and just take it into my cheekbone here. Yeah, I just like to warm up my face a little bit, give that summer tan glow. And I really like this shade, um, this bronzer shade. So now I'm gonna go in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Base, um, and, sorry, Skin Finish. Skin Base is the foundation I use. Uh, the Skin Finish, and this is in the shade Soft and Gentle, which is a bit of a pink shade. And I'm gonna use another Real Techniques brush, and this is the BO2. Um, it's kind of like a, a bobbly, pointy, oh, that's my nose. <laughs> Apply it to my cheeks. Give a really, it gives a really dewy highlight. And I really like how subtle it can be. It's not too striking, but don't worry, you can build it up and add another highlight on top, which I'm gonna do in one second. <laughs> okay, please don't worry. Pay no mind, but this is a pretty ratchet <laughs> highlight. It hasn't got a lid anymore. It's the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold. And they do have these in a few different shades. I love this one. Um, and I'm gonna just apply that to the high points of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my chin, a little bit on my cupid's bow and under my eyebrows. they look more voluptuous my top lip and that's my highlight hey I'm glowing now so now our base is pretty much finished I'm going to go in with another cooler product and this is the SPF 30 makeup setting spray so the rest of my products are gonna be kind of like eyes and eyebrows and lips and things so I like to set my base at this stage um, and this is a 70% plus organic makeup setting spray featuring peony leaf juniper berry and phoenix leaf stems and hydroclonic acid so you've got all the products in there and this is another product that is gonna be great for summer so not only will it set your makeup but it'll give you that SPF so you've got that whole full face coverage you've got your lips and you've got the face coverage here um, it's great actually if you have any makeup products that doesn't have SPF in it, so like your foundation, your concealer, that doesn't have SPF, this will cover you. So I'm just going to apply that now. And I'm summer ready. So I've applied my sun protection, which is also a makeup setting spray. So not only will that MAC Prep and Prime help us to keep our makeup on throughout the day and keep us from sweating it off when it gets really hot and we're on the underground and it's all horrible, um, but we've also got our setting spray as well, which will double the effects of keeping our makeup in place throughout the day. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna do my eyebrow routine. Here is where you would do your eyebrow routine. I'm not gonna talk you through mine because every eyebrow is so different. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and I'll come back to you when I'm finished. So those are my eyebrows done. As you can see, they're quite natural. So yes, now onto the most exciting part, the eyes. So today I'm gonna do a very summery shimmer look. Um, I've been doing this for the past couple of days and every time I do it, I'm like, oh girl, you're glowing, you're glowing, honey. So first of all, I'm gonna take this MAC paint pot. It's just a very nice, copper shimmery paint pot. So the texture of this product is more of like a gel um, and I usually apply this with my finger. So I'll take my middle finger here into the pot under my finger and I'll build that up slowly in the middle of my 
eyelid. So there I've applied the shimmery copper. Then I'll go in with uh, this Ilia Brow Luminizer and this is one of my ride or die products for eyes. I have loved this product and I'm so I'm so scared for when it's gonna run out. It's a double-ended uh, white pen pencil, brow and luminizer pencil and it's got so a shimmer side on this side and a matte white on that side or it's not white it's more of a cream um, and so depending on how I feel each day I'll go in for the shimmer or the matte um, and also depending on what part of my eye I'm placing it so I'll usually go with the matte along my top along the top of my eyelid and then use the shimmer underneath I'm going to go in with my Revolution palette and use this, this light colour just here. So I've done the white, the little bit of white on the under eyes, um, on the under eyes, yeah, on the under eyes and just above so I've got a bit of a shimmer coming into the matte white. Um, and I can either go in again with this Revolution palette, so you can actually build this look up with this palette entirely or I'm going to actually go into this palette which is the Candy Cosmetics palette and it is an amazing Morphe dupe. Um, I will link up here an autumnal makeup look that I did last year using this palette and it was very popular because so many people bought this palette after I had made the video because I used an affiliate link in the description box which tells me how many people bought the product and yeah I was really happy that you guys or whoever it was liked it so I'm gonna use this again because it seems to be very popular as you can see it is a very good Morphe dupe and I'm gonna use this to create a very summery orangey brownie toned eye look this one right here <laughs> Um, and I'm going to use that to start building in my crease. Um, so I think I'm going to use this, this lighter gold in the Morphe dupe palette. Um, and just take a bit of that on my finger and apply that to the centre of my lid. So yeah, that's my eyeshadow done. Now you can either go ahead and add your winged eyeliner or whatever kind of eyeliner you like to do, or you can leave it very natural and just add that bit of mascara, which is what I'm gonna do today, keeping it natural. So if you're feeling a more natural makeup look day, then you can go in again with your trusty tinted lip balm, the SPF from Kula, um, and kind of just create a, a very subtle nude pink, which is very pretty actually, I really love that one. Um, and then you can just keep topping that, through, topping that up throughout the day, that was a tongue twister. However, you can also, if you're feeling a bit spicy spicy you can um, go in with a liquid lipstick which I like to do sometimes I sometimes like to combine the revolution with the NYX liquid suede so a bit of a brown with a bit of a pink to create a really nice nude a really subtle natural nude lipstick um, or yeah just leave it like this I'm really liking this lip at the moment so I might just leave it and um, what I will sometimes do is just line my lips a little bit so I'm gonna do that now and um, just to give a bit more definition and I'll be back final stage sometimes if I'm feeling particularly flirty in the eyes then I like to add these collection glam crystals dazzling gel liner and this actually came with a promotion I think I spent over 10 pounds or something and I was able to pick up one of these and um, they do come in other colors like silver but I just love the gold especially for summer so I apply this um, it's just a, a glitter liner um, just in the corners under my eyes here 
just kind of gives you that extra something, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying. So there you have my full phase of summertime makeup, including lots of SPF products to make sure that you're staying safe in the sun. And I love this look. This is my go-to summer look at the moment. And I just think it's super glowy, very subtle, and just very pretty and nice. So yes, I think it's time for my reveal and then my close-up beauty guru shots. I'm ready. <laughs> my summary makeup tutorial if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what products you liked me using what products you think you're going to try out and also if you're going to recreate this look that'd be amazing i would love that so yeah make sure you let me know and also subscribe for more videos so i post videos quite often and i do a range of videos a lot of fashion related videos a little bit of beauty some travel and also vlogs so yeah make sure you subscribe for lots more videos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> now I got to get me some sun. Mm.